and welcome to this episode of Serengard in the 1.14 snapshots. As you can see behind me, I have finished this part of the uh, hill around the enchantment tower and I'm really pleased with it. Um, so in the last episode I showed you these new kind of like bush type things and um, dotted loads and loads of lilacs around and ferns and I've actually also put some lanterns in there as well so it lights the place up a little bit at night. Not that I am up during the night very often but just in case there it is. So yeah I'm really pleased with that and the other little thing I have done over here is um, this that I mentioned in the last episode that I might do and um, somebody commented and said yes that would be a great idea so I have made the flower stand in honour of Aramakutu and I've got it right this time I used to say Aramakutu but I watched um, one of Chicken Wing's new survival series Bedrock Edition and uh, she said Aramakutu, so I'm trying to remember to say it right. So this is for you, um, Aramakutu's flower shop, uh, flower stand, sorry. Um, I am hoping that uh, when we get out of pre-release two that the tulip will be a little brighter and the sapling seems to be a bit dull as well. So um, yeah, because as you can see, my orange tulips over here that I planted earlier they're very bright so yeah hopefully that will um that will become brighter when i replace it in a in a later edition but today um inspired by um grandma's gone gaming her latest video in her 1.14 world she's taken over a village and woo, um with all the new villager mechanics um, she's organised it really nicely and uh, spawning in village uh, villages and things. Oh, let's go this way. Um, I have decided to organise the village that's like over there. Um, and oh, I made this um, made this little pathway here to, uh, and I put my cactuses over there instead of having them round the back there because I didn't really know what to do with this kind of spit of land. So. Um, that's what I've done. Guardians are now spawning, but um, I haven't done anything with that. Um, oh, Daisy, am I bringing you with me? Okay. Um, so, I have, whoa. Um, and I made this little dock as well uh, for this bit here. Yeah, I have walled in this uh, village, but what I want to do is, um, as you can see I've drained all of that out and I did that in creative um, as per my my allowances for myself um, and yeah what I want to do is I'm gonna have a road that goes from here to the village but from Woodlock um, I haven't made any railways yet and I think seeing as this is going to be the main project place once Colfell has been finished um, that I'm going to, I need some stairs here, don't I? Uh, I'm gonna make a railway line, whoa, from um, Woodlock, because it's only about 200 blocks. Um, my, the leads have broken, the wandering llamas, wandering villager llamas um, have, well, they haven't really escaped because they're only there and someone's over here. Um, so, um, this is going to extend this way a bit, so I'm going to have buildings and things here, but um, I want to build a railway, I've already started clearing a path here to it, um, possibly from about here, 200 blocks this way, so I thought I would get that started. Now, the thought is... It's going to be fairly straight um, because railways are straight. Um, I'm going to do gravel and then I'll probably do like 
cobble and stairs and things on the side and seeing as there is only me in the world um hang on i'm gonna need a actually a cobble i haven't actually got any cobble uh let's use that oh and um i'm gonna run back and get that bed from there because i've left my bed at the village uh, so i will be back with you in a minute right i'm back <laughs> for the second time i was i came back and said i'm back and then um I needed to sleep so I thought I'll just cut that so I am literally going to do a straight line um, and of course I can change the terrain at whoops a later date if I need to don't, I was gonna say don't turn to gravel whoops oh for goodness sake I mean don't turn to flint is what I meant to say um, yeah, so I'm just going to go along. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, actually, that will Normally, I do um, these, uh, I think it's 25 blocks or 24 blocks in between. That's kind of like the slowest you can do. Um, I'm going to have to take this tree down here. Uh, but I suppose it'll depend on how fast I want to uh, get to the village um, and how many activator rails I'll have. Oh, look, there's a fox. There's a fox. Oh, I, I've i forgotten what the purpose of foxes are. <laughs> um, I have seen a snapshot video about the foxes, but um, yeah, I have forgotten what they are about. Um, okay, so this is, um, for the minute, I'm just going to, uh, plant this and then I will have one less thing in my inventory. Um, make some redstone torches uh, and do that I'm not quite sure um, what I'm going to do to power them no that's not going to power it is it ah ah yes I'm gonna have to actually I might oh yes of course might have to think about where these things are going in the first place uh, yes I suppose for the hills I'll know where they're going anyway where's my dirt yeah uh, yeah, that's going to happen for that one as well, isn't it? Right, I'll sort those out later. Uh, so I am going to get all of these laid across to um, to the village. Um, I'm going to fill this in and then I will be back with you. Okay, I may regret bringing you guys in at this particular, particular juncture because I may very well get killed, but there are some pillagers who have just spawned and oh, <gasps> the fox was gonna get him actually, uh, even though He's not my fox. Uh, right, I need to drink a bucket of milk. And then find a cow. Oh, actually, I brought my cow with me, didn't I? That was handy. Uh, yeah, arrows in the thing. Ah, you see, I am... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, the, the um, fox had just killed a chicken 
there. So I've got feathers by default. Um, so seeing as I am um, here, <laughs> for want of a better, uh, oh, hang on. What do I want? What do I want here? What do I want here? Right, I've got loads of stuff. Uh, yeah, so I have, whoops, um, laid all of the, uh, oh no, actually I might need some more of those. Yeah, I have laid all of the gravel down and I'm coming back again uh, with the rails. Oh, actually, I think I'm almost there maybe, I don't know. Just added um, an additional um, oh, powered rail in there. Um, because that's quite a long stretch. Uh, I had to go and get some cobble because you will see in a bit. Um, let's have a look, that's all done. And then, oh, this one doesn't have um yeah i made oh let's just do this uh, i made some levers um and i made too many i think let me see let's put that on so that is uh powered um let's swap this and do it oh i don't know why i've done that because i need to get rid of that one anyway uh, let's just pick these things up. Come on. Um, I'm sure I had one of those. Yeah. And that one's fine like that because that is the one that's going to go on. Yeah, I had to get some cobble. So actually what I might do is just make... Um, some stairs and some slabs um, and actually I've got some oh yeah of course I can't pick that up can I silly me uh, let's put the oh ominous banner what's that <laughs> I don't think I've seen it called ominous banner before that'll be a nice uh, thing for me to come back to um, yeah so my idea was just to do like a random selection of um, could maybe even do some like that and um, maybe not like that on the wall bit but yeah something like that at the sides of these just to make it look like it's kind of um, built up uh, but I do have a minecart here so let us go on the inaugural journey to ah yeah of course I don't have a um, oh actually you know what I'm just gonna put one of the levers on the side I didn't check that one, did I? This is why we check. Oh, come on, up the hill. Yeah, that's it. Yes, inaugural journey, rail journey between Woodlock and the village. Let me see if I can get up the hills. Get up the hills. Yay, fast the chicken. And then, oh, yes, I made it through the, <laughs> through the leaves. Then this bit, I decided to just bridge the gap. Um, but we are coming into the edge bit of, I nearly called this woodlock, but it's not, is it? This is the spruce village. One of the spruce villages, because there's one over there. Oh, and it's always night time. So I'm just going to put my bed down. That's where I've made the minecart um, rail to. So I'm going to have to obviously figure out a way of just doing like a path down here and getting into there. Um, but yeah, the, hello, uh, the village is on a very split level <laughs> basis. Um, 
So I have set up camp in here, this house here. Put a gate on it so that my, the villagers can't come in and out. Because that would be mighty annoying. So we've got this quite a massive area down here. We've got like um, some uh, houses down here. Um, not many villagers down this bit. But um, I don't think there are many beds in this um, in this part of the village. Um, so we've got, uh, there are a couple of farmers. I have um, started growing some wheat for them there because this was the only farm, the pumpkin farm, um, for some reason. Um, I have put these steps in because, oh, brewing stand bubbles. Oh, I've got, um, I've got a librarian. I think he's the only librarian um, I put him in here. Um, I might just leave him in there. <laughs> um, I put him in here, kind of one of the first goes. Um, and then, yeah, we've got this bit up here as well. Um, so this is all walled off as well. I don't think it's terribly well lit. Um, and there is an iron golem, but he's um, over around that hill there so that's why I brought the lead with me to see if you can put an iron golem on a lead and see if I can get him back uh, yeah so um, the idea is uh, if you want to check out grandma's gone gaming's video um, I believe it was episode 9 she has like her, her village is not as as weird and yeah hello um, not as weird and um, spread out as this um, so she's kind of sectioned parts off and had like two butchers in, oh, two butchers in one house. Um, bang goes the, uh, the fern there. And, um, and yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do here. And this is good scope for um, making my own villagers if there aren't beds in here because a villager needs a bed and a workstation. Oh, we've got a bed in here, but it's just got the crafting table. Uh, where are the workstation things? Um, I believe... Is there one in here? No, that's just a normal house. Oh, ouch. Where? I think there might be one in the shepherds. Yeah, this place needs like sorting out, tidying up. Yeah, this is the shepherds um, hut but um, I might just share this sheet while I'm here, uh, but it hasn't actually got a loom in it. Um, so that's, and it hasn't got a bed in it either. So if I put a loom and a bed in here, then a shepherd should spawn in there. So maybe that's why, and I haven't taken any of the beds out, um, but this, this, was generated in one of the um, like before the pre-releases so that's maybe why uh, it isn't as it should be but um, yeah so uh, started well on the way to um, well I've secured the village uh, maybe haven't um, So where is that brewing stand? Is it in one of these? Or is there a house that's underground or something? I wonder if there's a house in here. Where did that come from? Because there is a um, ravine thing there like a hole. I wonder why. I'll, I'll have to investigate that. Um, but anyway, from the pumpkin patch here, um, glad that I have got my first proper mine cart track done. Uh, and it's quite nice that um, I'm connecting up places from Woodlock to here. So um, I'm gonna mess around with um, the villagers and kind of walling them off into the separate bits and uh, seeing how many I have here and being organized like grandma has gone gaming and putting item frames up showing what they trade and things uh, so maybe we'll do that in the next episode or look at that in the next episode um, but 
for the time being thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it and um if you have enjoyed the video please leave it a like and uh if you have um not subscribed yet please consider subscribing and then you can see the next episode which hopefully i will see you in thanks for watching bye